Hi, I'm Richard. I'm a professional university admissions consultant. And over the past 10 years, I've been working with my network of over 1,000 professional tutors and ex-admissions staff to result in 88% success rate of getting students offers from UCL management. Now that is six times the 15% average acceptance rate, which means they only accept one in seven on average, but they accept six out of every seven candidates that we send over. UCL's management course has a few unique quirks. And today, for the first time, I'm gonna be sharing tips, tricks, and secrets from our expertise to give you the competitive edge when applying to this course. Now, my number one tip for UCL's Master's in Management is decide which pathway you are going to take. There is both a corporate and a finance pathway. The corporate pathway is the standard management course, and the finance pathway is something that I always advise students to look at very carefully. Now, this is a course for students who already have some experience in their undergraduate degree of accounting and finance and or possibly other management topics as well. Now, this is exciting because we have a UCL management course with a 15% acceptance rate, but because of the finance pathway, you can put finance in your degree title and it has a much higher two and a half times the success rate of top other finance courses in London. This is an excellent, excellent way to get into a high paid lucrative finance career through doing a management degree with a higher chance. And as a strategist, it is my job to advise students on the best routes to get them the career that they want to achieve. Now, just by demonstrating you know the difference in those pathways, as well as choosing your university electives and looking at which societies and lecturers and other opportunities such as the fantastic entrepreneurial hub UCL has, we have our second tip, which is do your university research. At master's level in the UK, you will apply directly to university, meaning unlike the undergraduate level, you don't need to write the same application essay shared between multiple universities. A huge advantage you can take over competitors is by mentioning those specific UCL tips such as pathway and picking your electives to show you've done your homework, that you're a diligent candidate, and to persuade the admissions team that you really have thought about and want to succeed in this course. In fact, that's one of my five pillars that we're going to cover for all applications success. Now, before I do so, if you want all of the 13 tips that we have that give our students a six times success rate of the average success rate, please do contact us at the profs using the information on screen now or in the description below. We would love to help you with these. Now, the other four tips are number one, motivation. And for a management degree, I strongly recommend going big, having a big mission statement. What is a problem in the world that you are going to challenge? I love working management students and learning about the interesting things they want to do with their careers. I've had students travel and take on gangs whole culture in the uh, Central America and looking at management problems, how the UN can encourage uh, new opportunities and centers and educations to try and reduce that. I've had students travel around the world looking at how to combat poor mental health practices and in institutions to bring that knowledge back to the UK. I've had one student even look at how to recreate the space industry that was in decline within their home country. These stories are fascinating. They make the, they make the application itself so interesting to read, they're a pleasure to work with, and the admission staff will fundamentally like you. If you say no to this student, you are hurting gang culture, you are stopping rockets, and you are stopping mental health best practices. That is not something they want to do and will give you a huge advantage when they're making the decision. Now, this must be, of course, backed up with a solid five-year career plan. If you're going to go and fight gang culture in South America, you need to work out how you're going to use your management degree to do that. And that took a lot of time and a lot of research, but it was very interesting as to how they were going to work their way up to a UN Central American director, how they were going to work their way through a space industry startup, how they were going to work their way through the Care and Quality Commission in the UK. A first uh, job that you're going to achieve, what you'll do in five years, and who you'll be managing. These details of a five-year career plan are essential to make that mission believable and to get you in.
Now quickly, the other three pillars we're gonna go through are work experience. What have you done that is relevant to this mission plan? What have you done that will help you to get that first job already? Don't just talk about the day-to-day, Take on the successes of your team. What was the biggest transaction they dealt with? What was the biggest learning? What amazing person did you have the opportunity to shadow and learn from that you can bring to your cohort of UCL students? Now, you also need to be a subject expert. Being a subject expert is extra important management because a surprising amount of the roughly 1,600 people that apply each year may not know what management is as an academic subject. And to be honest, this somewhat frustrates the admissions staff. If you thought management in terms of purely telling people what to do and giving orders, you'll be at a disadvantage. The top students will talk about the procurement problems, about motivational theory X and Y, intrinsic and extrinsic ways to motivate people. And that's all under organizational behavior. Read up on management, read up on the 14 branches, pick two or three. And whilst many students talk about marketing, economics and accounting, and that's fine if you have expertise in those, I suggest you look at the more niche areas of management to mark yourself out as a top candidate. So UCL is top 10 ranked in the world and is a top five management course in the UK. I strongly recommend including it in your application cycle. Others often include it along with LSE, LBS, and possibly Imperial Oxford and Cambridge. So UCL School of Management is a department within the overall university of UCL, which gives you your certificate at the end of your degree. UCL School of Management is based in Canary Wharf, giving you amazing exposure to companies and firms in the city of London. UCL's management course is a 15% acceptance rate, which is slightly higher than the 7 and 12% we see at the comparables of LSE and Imperial. Now, I wish you the best of luck in your application and I hope you've enjoyed today's video. If you'd like to work with myself or one of the other expert admissions professionals to 6x your chance of getting into UCL Master Management, contact us using the information on screen now or in the description below. But we've got more than that for you as well. You can get a exemplar personal statement and those five pillars in the description below through signing up. And also, if you would like to leave any like or subscribe or comment, we try really hard to get back to as many comments as we can to help as many students as we can to keep on producing these videos. I wish you the very best of luck.